Hello students, welcome to EPG Patshala. I am Dr. K. Anil Kumar, Assistant Professor, Indira Gandhi National Open University, New Delhi. Today, we will discuss the module Tribal Language Families in India under paper Tribal Culture of India. Let us see what we are going to learn from this module. First, we will understand the language families in India, describe tribal languages families in India, no multilingualism and tribal languages, analysis the contemporary situation of tribal languages. India is marked for its remarkable linguistic diversity hosting the important language families of the world. The People's Linguistic Survey of India has estimated a total of 780 languages diversely scattered in different geographical regions from the arid Taha region in Rajasthan to the sub Himalayan mountain region to the oceanic zone in the Andaman and Nicobar Islands. The Indian subcontinent has been home to innumerable human groups coming in waves of migration spread over thousands of years and the enormous linguistic diversity attests to this fact. At least in Europe, the idea of nation was founded on the principle of common language like English, French and German. The same cannot be said of India because despite the increasing widespread use of Hindi in this country which has been enlisted Hindi as an official language along with English for administrative and parliamentary transactions, the Indian constitution does not recognize any specific pan-Indian national language rather than 22 languages has been enshrined in the 8th schedule of Indian constitution as official language and the inclusion of more languages is anticipated. The notion of language and regionalism is of significance in the Indian social reality. For instance, Indian languages like Bengali, Kannada, Malayalam, Marathi, Telugu and other languages are associated with regional states like West Bengal, Karnataka, Maharashtra and Andhra Pradesh. However, in most northeastern states, the languages are diverse and therefore a single language counting for the entire state is not found and also the imposition of a single language on diverse ethnic groups would have far reaching implications. In the state of Manipur alone, roughly 30 above tribal languages are spoken aside English, Hindi and Manipuri. The lingua franca of the Maitai people in the Imphal Valley, Nagaland accounts for 18 major tribal languages beside their numerous branches, sub branches and Arunachal Pradesh accounts for more than 50 tribal languages. These tribal languages also posit as unique identity marker in the sense that Adi, Angami, Apatani, Ho, Lotha and Sunni etc. are ethno-linguistic 
category denoting both the ethnic group as well as language. The total distinct languages spoken in the world today is estimated around 7000. Here the African continent and the Indian subcontinent alone accounts for more than 1000 native language, languages each. However, the tremendous linguistic diversity is found among the indigenous population in the island of New Guinea where more than 1000 languages are crammed into a region little bigger than the twice the size of Rajasthan. This attests to the fact that linguistic diversity in more pronounced among the tribal population which is marked by great heterogeneity as compared to the more homogeneous group in Europe where all the European west of Russia has less than 100 native languages. In the midst of tremendous linguistic diversity in India, the tribal languages both in diversity and distribution have enriched the Indian linguistic situation. Languages spoken in India. India is marked by its remarkable linguistic diversity hosting the important language families of the world. The People's Linguistic Survey of India has estimated a total of 780 languages diversely scattered in different geographical regions from the arid Tahar region in Rajasthan to the sub Himalayan mountains region to the oceanic zone in the Andaman and Nicobar Islands. The Indian subcontinent has been home to innumerable human groups coming in waves of migration spread over thousands of years and the enormous linguistic diversity attested to this fact. In India, widespread spoken language in Hindi which has been enlisted as official language along with English for administrative and parliamentary transactions. The Indian constitution does not recognize any specific pan-Indian national language. Rather, a total of 22 languages has been enshrined in the 8th schedule of Indian constitution as official languages and the inclusion of more languages is anticipated. The notion of language and regionalism is of significance in the Indian social reality. For instance, Indian languages like Bengali, Kannada, Malayalam, Marathi and Telugu are associated with regional states like West Bengal, Karnataka, Kerala, Maharashtra and Andhra Pradesh. However, in most northeastern states, the languages are diverse and therefore a single language accounting for the entire state is not found and also the imposition of a single language on diverse ethnic groups would have far reaching implication. Now let us know about the tribal languages in India. The total distinct languages spoken in the world today is estimated around 7000. Here the African continent and the Indian subcontinent alone accounts for more than 1000 native languages each. However, the tremendous linguistic diversity is found among the indigenous population in the island of New Guinea where more than 1000 languages are crammed into a region little bigger than twice the size of Rajasthan. This attests to the fact that linguistic diversity is more pronounced among the tribal population which is marked by a great heterogeneity as compared to the 
more homogeneous groups in Europe, where all of Europe, west of Russia, has less than 100 native languages. In the midst of tremendous linguistic diversity in India, the tribal languages, both in diversity and distribution, have enriched the Indian linguistic situation. For example, in the state of Manipur alone, roughly 30 above tribal languages are spoken aside English, Hindi, and Manipuri. The lingua franca of the Maiti people in the Imphal Valley. In Nagaland, Nagaland accounts for about 18 major tribal languages beside their numerous branches and sub branches. And if you see Arunachal Pradesh, Arunachal Pradesh is also accounts for more than 50 tribal languages. And these tribal languages also posit as unique identity marker in the sense that Adi, Angami, Apatani, O, Lotha, Sumi, etc. are ethnolinguistic category denoting both the ethnic group as well as a language in India. Now we discuss about distribution of tribal language families in India. With respect to geographical distribution of tribal language families, the Dravidian speakers are mostly distributed in South India and Central India. The Austric speaking tribal people or groups are mostly distributed in Middle India and Andaman Islands and sparsely in Northeast India. The Tibeto Burman speaking communities are located in Northeast India and the Indo Aryan speaking groups are sparsely distributed in certain pockets of Middle India and Northwest India. It is important to mention that although tribes are classified on the basis of linguistic categories, the definition of Indian tribes based on language families is not found. Since one of the important characterizations of tribes is speaking common language, not speaking a particular language family. In this context, the tribal groups belonging to Indo-Aryan language family account for a little over 1 person. A little above 3 person belongs to the Dravidian language family, while over 80 percent of the Tibeto Burman language speaking groups have been identified as tribes in India. And the entire Austric language speaking communities have been identified as a tribes. In this slide, let us know about the classification of tribal language families. The tribal languages are classified into four main languages family that is Austric, Dravidian, Indo-Aryan and Tibeto-Burman which is otherwise called Sino-Tibetan. For example, Austric family. According to the Linguistic Survey of India, the tribal languages falling within Austric family are Munda languages and Mon Khmer which constitute branches of the Austro-Asiatic division, the other division being the Austronesian languages of Great Austric family. The Munda branch comprises of 14 tribal languages spoken largely in Santal, Panganas and Chotanagpur region of Jharkhand, Kon Mahal and Mayurbang in Orissa, Betul in Maharashtra and to some extent in pockets of Madhya Pradesh, West Bengal, 
and Tirai region of Himalayas. George Gerson, in his important contribution, identified eight autonomous Munda languages, further branching into different dialects. He used the common term Kherwari to name different dialects spoken especially toward the northeastern region of central Indian plateau and the adjoining areas. The important ones being Bhumji, Kho, Khorwa, Mundhari and Santali. The important Munda languages identified are Asuri, Birhor, Gadaba, Joang, Karai, Koda, Kurku, Savara and Turi. The distribution of Mon Khermar branch is geographically distant and is represented by the two languages that is Khasi in Meghalaya and Nicobaris in Andaman and Nicobar Islands. Now we should know about Dravidian language family of the tribes of India. By comparison, the distribution of Dravidian language family is less diverse with the other language families. However, this language is spoken by a large chunk of population in the Indian mainland. Generally, this language is broadly classified into Central Dravidian group and Southern Dravidian group. The earliest classification of Linguistic Survey of India based on Caldwell study identified two subdivisions Dravida language and Andhra language. The Dravida language includes Gondi, Kanarins, Kodagu, Kota, Kui, Kuruku, Tamil. Toda, Tulu, Malto, and Malayalam, while the Andhra language includes Brahui, Kalami, and Telugu. The Dravidian languages are distributed mainly in Deccan Plateau and the adjoining coastal plains. This language family also demarcates the state boundaries of Andhra Pradesh, Karnataka, Telangana, Tamil Nadu and Kerala in terms of the spoken language. The tribal population speaking languages falling under Dravidian family inhabit primarily the southern part of India and middle India. With respect to tribals belonging to Dravidian language family, Gondi speakers comprise the largest group scattered diversely across Madhya Pradesh to Andhra Pradesh. In central India, some important Dravidian languages are Kui spoken by the Khond of Orissa, Kruk spoken by the Oran and Malto spoken by the tribes of Rajmahal hills. Among the tribes of South India, the languages of the Badaga, Chenchu, Irula, Kadar and Toda etc. are included in the Dravidian language family. Let us discuss about Tibeto-Burman language family. The Tibeto-Burman speakers in India are mostly confined along the Himalayan belt contiguous with the international boundaries. The Tibeto-Burmans language are said to have entered India from the mountainous region in the north and spread all along the Himalayas. The tribal groups speaking the Tibeto-Burman languages belong to the Mongolite stock mostly inhabiting the northeast region of the India. The Tibeto-Burman family languages are considered to be a branch of larger Sino-Tibetan family which covers a large area extending from Jammu and Kashmir in the west of Assam, Indochina and parts of eastern China. Generally, Sino-Tibetan or Tibeto-Chinese family is further divided into two groups, Thai and Tibeto-Burma. The Thai group includes the diminishing Ahom language of Assam, 
Kampati and Pakhel, etc. The Tibeto Burman group is further divided into Tibeto Himalayan branch, North Assam or Arunachal branch, and Assam Burmese branch. The Tibeto Himalayan branch has two sections one is Bhotia and Himalaya. The Bhotia section includes Ladakhi, Laholi, Sherpa and Sikkim Bhutia, while the Himalayan section importantly include Lepcha, Toto and Rong etc. The Arunachal branch includes Adi, Apatani, Mishing and Miri etc. while the Assam Burmese branch further include sections like Bodo, Naga, Kachin and Kukichin. The Bodo section includes Dimasa, Garo, Kachari, Tripuri, etc. The Naga section includes Ho, Angami, Rengma, Sumi, and Lodha, etc. The Kangchin section can be represented by Singpu, while the Kukichin section includes Lusai, Hado, Ralte, Sokte, and Manipuri, etc. Let us know about Indo-Aryan tribal language family. The Indo-Aryan speakers comprise the largest group in India with an estimated two-third of Indian population speaking one or the other form of Indo-Aryan language. However, the tribal speakers of Indo-Aryan language are comparatively smaller and mostly are interspersed with the dominant Indo-Aryan groups or overlap with the major languages. In distribution, the Indo-Aryan languages are widely spread from Kashmir to Konkan coast and from Gujarat to Assam. Some of the tribal communities belonging to Indo-European language families are Bheels of Rajasthan, Warli of Maharashtra, and Ajong of Meghalaya and studies suggested that the earlier Dravidian speakers adopted the Indo-Aryan speech from the arriving dominant Indo-Aryan speakers or were pushed southwards or were converted into Indo-European language family. This is indicative among the southern Indo-European speakers like a Banjaras and Pardis who are nomadic tribes with a well recorded history of migration from Rajasthan few centuries ago. In this slide, we will discuss about multilingualism and tribal languages. The definition of tribes as speaking a specific dialect is debatable and problematic in the Indian context. The Khon and Paraja of South Odisha speak Oriya along with Kui and Parji. The Santals of Santali Parangana speak Bengali and Hindi along with Santali. The Chenchus and Koya speak Telugu along with their indigenous language, while the Naga tribes usually speak Nagamese and the language of their neighboring tribes aside their mother tongue and the similar features is found among other tri Indian tribes. Studies also reveal that there exists a communication language which is a language of tribes or dominant communities but regional language. For instance, in South Odisha, most of the tribes know three languages language specific to the group, the dominant language of their neighbors that is Oriya and Desa Bhasha that is the regional language which is translated as folk language and is different from all. Not every endangered tribal language is due to isolation like among the Andaman Islanders or decline in population like the Toto and Porjing tribes. 
Conversely, the immense linguistic diversity and multilingual condition has led to sharp decline in language like Kuruk with millions of populations. Multilingualism is an important feature among the tribal groups influencing not only the nature of tribal languages but also the socio-cultural transactions. For instance, an average Oran may speak Hindi, Nagpuri, Sadri and even the indigenous language of neighboring tribes besides Kuruk. Many studies have shown that the cluster of languages spoken aside the mother tongue tend to show regional differences even among the same tribal groups. Thus, an Oran and Santal, the tea garden tribes in Assam, would speak Assamese and other regional languages other than Kuruk and Santali, which would differ substantially from the Orans and Santals of Chota Nagpur and Santal Pranganas. This is a significance in the multilingual context since the speakers use different linguistic codes switching from one to other during the course of conversation. Thus, the adaptation, resilience and diminishing of tribal languages are determined by geographical location and their cultural contact. Hudson had suggested that during social contact between different language groups, the social status of the group is important in determining which group learns the language of the other group. Following this, some scholars have mentioned prestige, pride and solidarity of a particular language group in remaining monolingual. Be that as it may, economic transactions play a vital role in the multilingual process where in many cases outsiders have learned the local tribal languages for economic viability. However, in general tribal languages are attributed a lower status in comparison to other dominant language. Barrier Alvin in his study among the Bondo Highlanders observed that the Bondo use Mundari for daily conversation but use Oriya for two distinct purposes. Two distinct purposes. The market transactions when it involves weight and measures and some magical and religious recitations are done in Oriya. So, this is how the tribals use multilingual language in their scenario. The Bondo believe that Oriya is superior language and superior entities should be addressed in superior language. This linguistic process cannot be detached from social life where the notion of class and status influences the counter of tribal languages. Contemporary situation of tribal languages. The study of tribal languages among the students of anthropology and linguistics has generated renewed interest on tribal communities. 
one of the concerns has been on the decline of tribal languages which the linguistic survey of india has listed as endangered languages one of the unique features of tribal communities in india is multilingualism bearing some relatively isolated tribes the tribal india is marked for its multilingualism where tribes speak languages other than its own mother tongue for instance an average oran would speak nagpuri sadri and hindi besides their own languages to rook this is how due to the speaking of multilingual languages in the area the own local language are in endangered situation with respect to endangered tribal languages it is not only found among tribes with dwindling population but also among tribes with larger population but not speaking their indigenous language in a multicultural and multi ethnic context many tribal languages are fast disappearing today in india the people's linguistic survey of india has estimated that about 220 languages have disappeared during the last 50 years and most of these languages are tribal languages in india in india many tribal languages have vanished from the face of the earth especially among the andaman tribes and more are expected to be to become extinct soon in india this phenomena is observed even in the indian mainland among the particular vulnerable tribal groups like the asur birhor chinchu maram toto and also among north eastern tribes like chiru koibu and koiring while the speakers of certain tribal languages have increased over the years these tribals or these tribes are also subjected to tremendous social change that retaining the original language has been a formidable task thus in india both relative isolation and growing cultural contact among the tribals and non tribals have led to step decline in survival and continuity of tribal language so students let us summarize what you have learned in this model we have learned about tribal language families in india we have learned about distribution of tribal language families in india and we have learned about all the states which tribal family speaks which tribal languages now i will summarize this in briefly the study of tribal languages among the students of anthropology and linguistics has generated renewed interest on tribal communities one of the concerns has been on the decline of tribal languages which the linguistic survey of india has listed as endangered languages the people's linguistic survey of india has estimated about 220 languages have disappeared in the half of the century it is important to note that endangered languages listed by the unesco even on cursory glance reveals the diminishing languages of indian population or indigenous population in india many tribal languages have vanished 
from the face of earth especially among the andaman tribes and more are expected to be become extinct soon this phenomena is observed even in the indian mainland among the particular vulnerable tribal groups like the asur birhor tenchus maram toto and also among northeastern tribes like chiru hoibu koreang and maram while the speakers of certain tribal languages have increased over the years these tribes are also subjected to tremendous social change that retaining the original language has been a formidable task thus in india both relative isolation and burgoing cultural contact have led to steep decline in survival and continuity of tribal languages thank you